Hello, hello, hello. As promised, I said that I was going to go live today, kind of check in with you guys. So I'm going to hang out for a little bit. I don't even think I should even put a time frame, a time stamp on this because every time I say 15 minutes, <laughs> then I'm on here like an hour, almost an hour, something like that. So I am here to answer any questions you may have, to share new developments with you. I see we have a couple of people in the room. Hello. In Oklahoma, it is 1.03 p.m. So good afternoon to you. Let me make sure I'm able to see these chats. Okay, I have to activate this thing. <laughs> So I can see the chats. Ah, here we go. Kenya, hello, LaShondra. So have you started classes with Bling ABC yet? No. Oh, my goodness. Bling ABC. That's one of the, the things I wanted to talk about today. So I started the whole process in January. January, okay? Got everything done. Did the mock class. I. I actually had to do the process kind of slow because, you know, I'm still with Dada. So I had to do it on my days off, which I only at the time only had one day, off, which is Friday. And so everything I did had to be on Friday. And then if they need me to do something else, I had to do it the following Friday. So it took a little bit for me to get done, but I finally did my mock like right before Chinese New Year. And then I did my mock. They had Chinese New Year. And then I didn't hear anything back for <laughs> a long time. I didn't hear anything back until last week. I was like, what's going on? Like what, what I signed the contract, everything's turned in and I didn't hear anything back. So then they contacted me and was like, oh, the email that we was supposed to send you, apparently it didn't go through or it didn't go out. And they apologized and all that. And so um, they sent me the email. You know, I passed the mock and everything. And the next semester of classes, because they go by terms, so you don't just jump in there and start. You have to wait until the next term, which is March 4th is the beginning of the next term. And so I haven't started yet. I have to wait till the next term. But to be completely honest, I'm just, it's been so long that I don't think, I'm not sure if I'm going to even move forward with Bling ABC. So, I mean, it sounds wonderful. It's different because you're doing like three students at a time. And then once you prove yourself to be a good teacher, you can even teach like large group classes, like 15 students at a time, if you would like. And so I was like, you know, this is different, it's wonderful. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to move forward with Bling ABC. So I'll keep you posted, but I really don't think I'm going to go forward with that <laughs> because I've just, it's just been just, I've been sitting idle for too long for me to, I, now I don't even feel confident in what I learned. I'm just thinking I forgot everything because the platform is completely different. It's completely different from any platform I have ever been on before. And <laughs> you have to like move people around and then there's these functions that are on the side. And I'm not bashing Bling ABC, but it's it's the delay is just too long for me. So I don't I don't think I'm going to move forward with Bling ABC. But I'll keep you posted and let you know what's official. So right now officially I am I'm still with Dada. I'm still with Dada and I'm with Cambly and with Palfish. Now I don't teach classes on Palfish, but I do use it to chat. I have a few, well, a couple of regular students that I actually chat with every day. So they call me and we have discussions every single day for like 30 minutes 
a day. So I'm getting paid. You get paid every minute that you talk, just like on Cambly. And you can set your own rate. So whatever you want to charge, you charge whatever you want. And that's their per minute rate. You can even create like packages if they want to um, purchase chat packages. So you want to create like a one hour package. They can p- buy an hour for their, for whatever charge you are selling it for. And, you know, they pay you and then you chat with them for an hour. And it goes to, you have to create a pioneer account for that. So Palfish, I don't teach the kids, but I just do tutoring kind of like with Cambly and I do live, live events. Today I had a live, which was really fun. I taught them American sayings. And so I'm going to do a screen recording of that and post it for you guys to see. It was like a quick 15 minute class that I did. All right. I see. I have some questions. Erica is too, okay. So you're an hour ahead of me, Erica. You're one hour ahead of me. Laura Rios. Hello for data. What are the rules for submitting assessments after classes? You're supposed to submit them within 24 hours. That's what you're supposed to do. Now, per the contract, they have data has the right to dock you, or they say you could receive no pay if the assessments are not submitted within a 24 hour time frame. You can you can receive no pay for that. So as long as you get it done within 24 hours, then you're fine. Now, there have been times where <laughs> I have forgotten, like, wait a minute, I've been doing so much, I forgot my assessment and I log in the next day to do classes. I'm like, oh, I have like two assessments sitting here that I didn't get to that I had meant to do before I went to it and I didn't do it. And I was okay, but I wouldn't chance it if I was you. I wouldn't chance it. So don't chance it because if you don't get paid, you're going to be very upset. And per the contract, it they have the right to not pay you if you don't do your assessment in 24 hours. So I don't advise living on the edge like I do every once in a while. Which is, you know, some companies don't even give you 24 hours. I think Bling, Bling ABC gives you, I think, three hours. They give you three hours to finish the assessments. Um, back in the day when I used to be with VIP kid, they gave you six hours to get it done for full pay. You had within six hours. Now, after the six hour period, then if you did the, if you turn your assessment in after six hours, then you got half pay for that class. I don't know what the rules are now, but I'm just giving you a comparison with Dada giving us 24 hours to do our assessments. Okay. Um, Tamika, did you get your bear? Did you get the bear, Tamika? The um the other lady, I sent both of them at the same time. She told me she got hers. She got hers on um was it yesterday? Thursday? When when no, today, today's Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday. She got it yesterday. She got it Wednesday. So she got her bear Wednesday. Okay, um, Becky. Hey there, girl. Just an update on my Cambly. I have become a super tutor. Yes, I am super loving it. And the support, they are fantastic. I love, I love Cambly, okay? <laughs> the money, I mean, you, like I said, you're not going to get rich quick. You're not. I was on today for three hours and we talked about movies. We talked about travel. We just, it's like calling up an old friend and just having a conversation and getting paid for it. And then they have, you know, whatever requests they have, you already know. It's fun. It's fun. So I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. It's a break from the kids. You know, I love the kids, but you know, sometimes you want some adult interaction, especially for us. Well, me, I just, I don't work outside the house at all. So I see the Dada kids and my kids, (laughs) my husband, then go to church and see adults go to the store and see adults. And then my, you know, my family, that's pretty much it. So it's nice to have that additional adult contact. Kenya, I understand for the update. I'm in the same boat with bling, waiting, waiting, waiting. Yes. Yes, girl, waiting. Camly, you know, if you want to get a break and you want, they do have a Camly kids, but for what they're going to pay, I think, because the regular Camly is 17 cents per minute. I think Camly kids is 20, 20. 20 cents per minute. And for me, 
if I got to do a TPR and be energetic for me, it's just not worth it. I'm just like, I get paid more at Dada. So if I would do that, just take more classes with Dada. <laughs> I want to break from teaching the kids and get paid to just converse. So, but they do have a kids section for Cambly. Layla, hello, hello, Becky. And thank you so much for showing me how to split my screen. Becky, I just did a video today where I did, where I showed where you click the actual library lesson and then you can split it from there. So I'm going to upload that today. So be on the lookout for that. Karen, hello, beautiful soul. Use your referral for a second application for Cambly. Do you think it is wise? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Sometimes people have to do that, you know, put it in a second time and then con reach out to them in social media. You know, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram and send them a PM. And, you know, they even have a, a group, a Cambly group. So you can go on and, you know, send them a private message. Be like, hey, my teacher name is such such my email. I and then they'll, they, they should respond to you. Cambly is really good at supporting the teachers. Anything that I've ever needed or had a question, I got a response the same day. So, um, Karen, just by the way, I've used the different email address. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fine too. That's fine. Tamika, you didn't get it yet? What? Okay. Well, I sent them at the same time. So hope maybe you'll get it today. I don't know. It could be weather. I'm not sure. I can't remember where you live off the top of my head, but, um, Catherine, she got hers yesterday. So you should be getting yours maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, Carneska, any tips on a good laptop? Mm, okay, I'll tell you what I use. I have, you know, the bulky ThinkPad. Hey, I'm old school. So I have a ThinkPad. And I have a, um, what is it? An i5 processor i5 processor and I have 32 gigs of memory, uh, 30, yeah, 32 gigabytes and it works like a charm. Perfect. So, um, Chromebooks are compatible with some interfaces, but not all. So if you're going to go, although Chromebooks are least expensive, you know, they're the most affordable, depending on what platform you're going for, it wouldn't be ideal because some platforms are not supported on Chromebook. So I would suggest maybe staying away from a Chromebook because it will limit you on what you can do. But um, you want to have at least, uh, what is it, i5 uh, processor, at least. So I would, I mean, I recommend that. That's what I'm going to say. For it to be smooth selling, I'd recommend that. And at least 16 gigabytes of memory, 32 would probably be more ideal. I have 32. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about when you have to download their platform, whatever company you're with or companies, and you know, how they have their apps and the platform stuff you have to download. It's not bulking up the memory to where everything is running sluggish and slow. So keep that in mind that you want room to be able to download things from the company and then run whatever programs that you're running. If you use Manicam, that's a memory hog. So now anything specific other than that, I really don't know. I'm not the techie person, but generally speaking, that's what you would want to look for in a laptop. Tamika, maybe I will get it today, but we got new mailboxes, so I have to go pick up my new key on Saturday because I work during post hours, but I'm excited. Yes, yes, you should get it. You should be getting it. Yes, I figured that out also, Becky. I will be sure to watch that video. Okay, okay, you, you did figure it out. Okay, good. Brian, yay, thank you. You like my energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Last time I had some music playing, but I didn't want to make it hard for you to hear me. Ah, Kaneska, I said it right. Hey, I think it's all those. Um, I don't know. Your name kind of has a a Spanish vibe to it. Latin. You you are Latina, but um, it could be all the uh, what I've talked. I have spoken with a lot of Brazilians on Cambly, <laughs> and then I've been you know trying to perfect the pronunciation. Okay, hold on, I'm out of focus. 
There we go. I've been trying to perfect pronunciation. So I saw your name and I was thinking Kineska. Very beautiful. Karen, I have messaged them on Facebook Messenger and got the same response as their email. Wait some weeks, blah, blah. Mm, okay. Well, some people said it took them three weeks. Now, spring break is coming up. So my logic is the closer it gets to break, the more bogged down they get because people are looking for backup plans. So, okay, I have this time on my hands so I can make some extra money. So, you know, all this teaching online is becoming increasingly popular. When I started teaching online in 2017, I've been teaching online since January of 2017. And it was like taboo. Like people were like, are you sure this is legit? Like people didn't really, it, it wasn't common. People, at least in the States, hadn't heard about it. So it was something new where people were like, wow, really? What? Even when I was first starting, you know, I was like, do I give them my real banking information? <laughs> Are they going to siphon money out of my account? But um, I think it's just, it's become so increasingly popular, you know, on both ends. You know, the people are being aware that they can do this. They can learn it online. And then, so supply and demand, supply and demand. Give it a few weeks. I know I, I would be impatient too, because I want some money now. Jesus, you are on while I'm at work. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, let's see, Karen. Last question. Have you listed all the ESL companies in the video yet? I did some. There were, how many did I do? I forgot. 13? 17? It, team? 12? I, I, I can't remember how many I did. I did do some. There are so many. Someone told me there are like 3,000. Or or even more. There's so many little companies, and I'm finding out that there, are, you know, China's like the powerhouse of the ESL or EFL, if you want to be technical world. But there are, you know, everywhere, everywhere. There's, you know, I'm finding countries like Russia, Germany have their own platform. My my camera, this is this is horrible. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna get. Come on, Logitech, get it together. I've never had issues like this lately. It could be because my son has dropped it a few times. <laughs> he has. He has dropped my little webcam a few times. Mm -mm -mm. You're welcome, Carneska. Mania, tell your boss, teacher. <laughs> the misadventurer. Do your dogs ever bark while you are in the Dada classroom? I recently had to move in with someone with two German shepherds. I work with the door shut, but sometimes my students can hear them. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, they do. Now, it's not common, but they do every once in a while. And as long as it's not excessive, like, <laughs> it's never been like that. So I've never gotten a complaint. If anything, you know, the students that I have, they say, oh, teacher, I want to see your dogs. And they want to see them, you know, and I, it'll be a treat. And I'm like, OK, at the end of class, I'll let you see them. because I have four dogs, so they love to see them like jumping up all over each other. But um, I try to turn it into like a treat at the end of class. So as long as it's not taking away from the lesson or the students not like, I can't hear you then it shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be a big deal. Tamika, how many hours can you teach on Palfish? How early can you teach? Can you start? And how late can you teach? Or will you have a schedule? It's You, you don't have to have a set schedule. I'll show you. Tamika, I, th I think I did a video. Did I do a video? Yeah, I think I did a video on it. So this is the schedule. Now, my schedule... I just put in slots because I tutor. And so when you are tutoring and you're not teaching the kids, you can even put a availability for people to book you for, you know, an audio session. So you see, this is my time. So this is in Central Standard Time. So you see it's available, right? What, midnight? So it's not quite 24 hours, but look at all the available blocks. It's a lot of a lot of availability here. And I just kind of tutor because I get off my Dada calls. 
at my last one is like it ends at 17. So my last one ends at 17 and then I'm available 7:30 to tutor or sometimes I might do live videos in that time frame and then nine o'clock from nine until 9 a.m. my time until noon. I normally jump on Cambly, you know, if I if my son's having a good day. Maybe four days out the week, four or five days out the week, I might jump on Cambly from 9 to 11 or 9 to noon and, you know, make some money and chat. And I I got pretty high on Cambly. I have high rating rankings. So I met, uh, uh, my rating is 4.96, 4.96. And so um, that's out of a possible five, 5.0. So um, I get requested a lot. I have reservations. I get a lot of reservations a lot, you know, more reservations now because I'm starting to get a reputation. And um, with Palfish, I do a lot of live videos, but you saw the availability. So if you did want to teach the kids, then... There is, I mean, that's standard availability. You can open any of these slots. They do ask that you do a minimum of 10 hours in, during the, you know, the little hot areas, 10 hours a week during those times. And then anything else is just whenever. I don't have 10 hours extra a week for that. So I'm not even going to attempt to teach the kids with Palfish. But then my lives. I love my live classes. So let's see, let's go to my lives. This is the one I did today. It's a piece of cake. So I did American Sayings and you see that it was free. It was a free event that I did today. And so I just did that at 7.15 this morning. And, you know, a 15 minute live class. I had 25, well, 24 people. Oops. 24 people that showed up and yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Just you know, like I'm doing now. I just do it on Palfish. I can choose to charge or I can choose to, you know, have it free. But, and so when you have, when you have free classes, then it gains popularity for you because they'll, you get more people that'll sign up just to try you out for free. And so it's loading. I'll let it load. Then I'll show you. Uh, so hopefully that answered your question, Tamika, as far as how many hours you can teach. Mania, I am hired for VIP kids and data. I do not want to teach kids any other recommendations besides Cambly and Palfish. Um, someone had recommended iTutor group, but I actually tried it. I got hired on iTutor group, you guys. But there we go. I didn't go any further than that because they have a 10 hour minimum. I don't have 10 hours. I thought it was just, you know, whenever you feel like it, but they, you can teach adults. So if you're able to fit it in your schedule on, they want at least four hours on the weekend during their prime time. And they'll tell you what their prime times are. I don't really remember, but it conflicted with my personal life, <laughs> my kids. Um, I don't know if you have like young children, Wania, but um Someone recommended iTutor group. Outside of that, there was a, um, is it Hugh Jane? Hugh, I'm gonna type it. I think this is audio only, but there's like a waiting list, I think. Hugh Jong or Hugh, Hugh, I don't know how you say it. I believe that's audio only and I think it's adults, but I think there's a waiting list for that. And so I want to check it out. All right. Ah, here we go. I'm in here a little early. So this is my live We're event. You see, I have a sweater. <laughs> I did that today. And see, you can pull videos yeah. and scoot over and show them little videos. So today I was talking about American sayings, basically idioms. So this one, I was talking about what it means when people Don't say break a dollar. Break a dollar. Break a bill. They don't want it to be broken down so, into a smaller denomination. Yeah, of it's really money. easy to use. And so I just do lives on Palfish that way. <laughs> ESL teacher Sam, thank you, girl. <laughs> thank you, girl. We in this together. 
Wanya, I think I'm over the kids now too. Been on Dada too long. I'm ready for, yes, big people. You know, I love my Dada kids. I love them. I have 18 regular students. I love them. Okay. There might be, I'm not going to lie. There may be a couple of them where I won't be sad <laughs> if they chose <laughs> another teacher, but that's, <laughs> but I love them. I love them. But you know, all these different platforms with kids. I love kids. I have four children of my own. I need a break. I just, I, the adults, the talking to the adults give me life. Uh, Tamika, yes, that did answer my question. Thank you. I'll find the video. An audio session. Do you seem to get more students for video than audio? Uh, on Powfish, I've never had a student request video. They've all been audio on Powfish. So, they could, you know, if they wanted to do video, they can book you for a video or say you're available. You make yourself visible and you're just sitting there waiting for a call. Then you could, you know, just wait and then somebody could call you and then they can have their video on because they want to see you. You know, that's up to you. But you don't have to do video with Palfish. You don't have to. Uh, I haven't had one yet. so. <laughs> I've been laying on the sofa talking to these people. So if they did want a video, I have to like run in here in front of my map and be like, hello. <laughs> I don't want them to see me laying on the couch with my earbuds in. Cause I, you know, you just use your phone and I just put my earbuds in while I'm on my cell phone and I kind of just lay there and then you can type what you say. So it's like texting is really cool. It's like texting. I took a screenshot earlier. Cause I was going to post it on social media and, you know, block out her face. Let me find it. Where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. I'm going to block her face out. But yeah, so that's our conversation. And so you can, that's just my profile pic that showed up. And yeah, through the conversation, you see that I just typed some of the sentences that we were saying just so she can go back and look at the conversation and practice some of the phrases. But yeah, I haven't had a, a video chat with those kids or adults or anything on Palfish. <laughs> yeah. So teacher Sam, do you still love data ABC? Yes. I, okay. It's like, a. you know, I used to be a mentor, Sam, teacher Sam. And you know, being a mentor, I love that. So there were, you know, I'm not going to say there weren't any hard feelings when they got rid of the mentoring program. I thought that that was a, a you know, a bad move, really. I think that they need their mentors. I think they should get their mentors back. Even if it's not us, I think they need mentors. But, you know, that I wanted to remain a mentor, but Dada does have a part of my heart that they will always have. And, you know, they sent me to China. They sent me to China. I was MVT. I got these regular students. I love them. And CS, they've always been really nice to me. There we go. Focus, focus. CS has always been really nice to me. <laughs> my camera, you guys, I just... This time. And I, I do love Dada for that purpose. Uh, CS is the CS, my children. Tomorrow's my first year. Ah, congratulations. Congratulations. Um, August 6th, which is also my birthday, doubles as my anniversary. I will never forget. So I'm on, um, what, a year and a half? Eight, let's see, August, September, October, November. December, January, February. Yeah. 18 months. Been with Dada for 18 months. So yes, congratulations on your one year anniversary with Dada. Uh, let's see, they are cool, but some things, yeah, they have changed. They have changed. They have changed. So some things have changed for the better. Some things, come on. Yes. Stay focused. Maybe I'm moving too much. Wobble head. I got the wobble head too much and it can't keep up with me. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> uh, yeah, some things have changed for the better. Um, apparently they got some more money. 
And I know a lot of people were, and I got the brunt end of a lot of frustrations with Dada when all that mess was going on, you know, with teachers and certifications and teachers' contracts not being renewed. I was accused of being, uh, I don't know, some paid for advertiser, cheerleader. My channel is not paid for by Dada. It's not. <laughs> it's, uh, if they want to sponsor me, that would be great. But my my channel is not Dada sponsored. So anything that I did was just to help you guys. But I got accused of a, a lot of things. And I, you know, you guys probably seen some of the comments on some of my videos. Just wait till they get rid of you too. So, I mean, if Dada did decide that they didn't want teacher LaShondra anymore, then I will bow out and find another platform. You know, it's the business of it. But, you know, the business of it, that's just how it is. But the heart of it, is with my students and I do have, you know, rapport with a lot of CS. Teacher Sam, this teach more thing is grating my cheese. <laughs> I don't even think teach more is working. Is it working yet? Like it was, I don't know. There was some bumps in it or something and they said that they were fixing it and I don't think it works anymore. I think they pulled it for the time being. So I think it was just like a, yeah, it's not available. Yeah. Right. Teacher Sam, my channel is sponsored by me too. Yes. Yes, girl. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not a puppet. I've been accused of being a puppet because I wasn't on YouTube threatening this, this, that, and another. I'm just like, you guys, it's the same as, you know, when people are like, don't shop at Walmart. They don't pay. They don't, you know, they don't pay their employees enough. It's like, okay, that's very unfortunate. So where can I sign for you guys to get more money? But then for me to just be like, I will never step a foot in Walmart ever again, no matter how big the deals are. <laughs> it's just like, come on, you guys. Everyone has their own story to tell, you know? It's on test. Yes, test lab. So I, it was just a test that they rolled it out. And I think they're trying to fix it. Dada should sponsor you. I would love for Dada to sponsor me, Wania. I really would. I would be like, yes, please send me back to China. Send me back. <laughs> I didn't get to finish everything when I was there for two weeks. You would make a great puppet. <laughs> the, little, um, the little hand puppet with, and then give it some little, some, some twist or some braids. And then some little glasses. And then my um, accessories, I'd have removable glasses. And um, what is this? This is what I wore today. My re removable unicorn headband. <laughs> Teacher Lala comes with accessories. <laughs> oh, they said Teach More would be open to all, but how to meet all those requirements, such as getting exemptions for manual part-time application. I don't know. I think... I think a lot of that is lost in translation. You know, they say open for all. I think they meant because initially it was only rolled out to certain teachers that were invited to try it. Like you got an email to try it. Then they were just like, okay, anyone <laughs> that has taught X amount of part time, blah, 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 you can do it. So it wasn't just by email invite only. It was, if you meet these requirements, you can do it. And then it just didn't work. It, it just, I don't know. It didn't work. Then they changed the rules and people were upset. Then people were confused. And then, I, I don't know. I'm hoping that they make it when it, when it comes back, I'm hoping that they make it available so that um, say they need the teachers, right? And there's not enough people on part-time hours and you're you're not scheduled for part-time hours but you have some extra time to spare during you know that time it's your off day or whatever you didn't want to you know like obligate yourself a week ahead of time or five days ahead of time to a part-time schedule so you're like you know what i have some time available let me log on and see if there's a student that i can teach that's what i'm hoping they use to teach more function for so that you can kind of get some last minute you know classes booked in there. That's what I'm hoping, you guys. 
Ha <laughs> ha, teacher Sam. I think Dada actually pays well. Oh, don't cover your eyes, Karen. They do. Trust me, they do. Like a lot of the companies, their cap is like 22 cap. Like that's the max. They say up to $22 per hour. And Dada pays more than the 22. So, you know, that, and then uh, Powfish pays, I think, up to, no, I think it says up to, does it say up to 22? I have to look now. I think Powfish is up to 22. I think that's their cap too. Up to 22. Oh, it's, yeah, it says make up to $22 an hour plus bonus. So the, the base cap is 22. Anything ahead of that is bonus. So, and there are some people with data that make more than $22 an hour. So, yeah. Now, if they brought those bonuses back, whew, I think once, you know, everything cools down, I'm still going to blame the economy. I'm still standing by the economy, you guys. But I think once everything cools down and Dada gets more money, then they have a lot of competition. I heard that Dada might be a little more expensive for the parents, you know, because I've been to some of the conventions and um, I don't know the exact prices, but I heard that Dada is a little pricier than some of the other platforms. And so I guess it depends on can the parents afford, you know, but they try to offer different deals and packages and whatnot to the parents. Uh, am I missing something? No, yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> Teach more was great for me. I converted so many new students. See, my, you know, teacher Sam, my schedule was like full, but my one off day that I had Friday, when I would do Teach More, on Fridays, I think I got like two students. I was like, what is going on? So I just, I just didn't get a lot. I don't know. I just didn't get a lot. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you must be a rock star girl. You need to do some, I need to come to your channel. Maybe you have some videos on how to convert a lot of trials. I don't do a lot of trials. So you guys probably won't see a video on <laughs> converting trials. You guys check out ESL teacher Sam. Maybe she has some trial conversion videos. <laughs> I, I hardly do them. This week, I actually got, um, I had two students cancel. Oh, no, they weren't trials. Never mind. They were interest classes. See, I don't get trials. I fill up with interest classes. So I had like three different interest classes in my slots where my students had canceled. So I, I hardly ever get trials. So you must be a rock star. So they, they give you all the trials, girl. Make that money. Teacher Sam, my part-time never gets approved, even though I talked to you. Uh, I think some of us, our part-time is automatically approved. For me, if I click it, as soon as I click, it's approved, like immediately. So I guess it depends on, I don't know, I guess you have to build a certain reputation with the part-time hours. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Some people are automatically approved. Some people have to wait for them to manually approve it. The creepy thing about Teach More is when it was start. Yes, when it was starting by itself, I was like, uh, can I go use the bathroom since I had a cancellation? <laughs> or, um, uh, yeah, like you had a, uh, there were times where I had um, a trial class and I had one trial class and then it was close to Chinese New Year. That's when my kids were dropping off like flies. And I was just like, where are all, all the kids are gone? And I'm just sitting here. I had some interest classes. I did that week before Chinese New Year. I did get some trial classes. And the teach more thing was just, and I was nervous. I was just staring because I know you only have three seconds. I think it was three seconds to say yes. Dada is $50 a class. Ooh, 50? Ooh. Yeah, I didn't even know how much. I knew it was expensive, teacher Sam. I knew it was. I didn't know it was 50. Ooh, ooh, goodness. And that's a 30-minute class? Ooh. These, these parents are paying that money. They are paying that money. So I think, you know, when they get more, when they get a lot of kids like they had, because there's so many, you guys here, these new platforms and these new companies rolling around. I think teacher, you know, with the economy, 
uh, parents are also, they want the best for their kids. So they want to be with an, an established company, but some of them are looking for the best deals. Wania, I have two things, two things. My rating dropped on Cambly. Very upset about that. And the other thing in Palfish is my TESOL certification doesn't have a number and they keep denying me. What was the Google, <laughs> the Google talk? Um, I'm trying to think how you would get a number. It's Google Voice. It's Google Voice. Go and Google. I don't remember. I've had my Google Voice number for quite some time. Because when I was a brick and mortar teacher, I didn't want to give parents my actual cell phone, cell phone number. So I activated a Google Voice account. So go and Google. <laughs> Google Google Voice. And it'll tell you step by step on what you need to do to get that, you know, that number. So Google that and it'll tell you what you need to do to get that number so you can try it again. Now, as far as a certificate, if you got it through International Academy, there is a process where you act like act like you're going to buy your certificate, like you're going to put in the order for your certificate and they give you like a preview of what the certificate will look like on that preview screen that's when they show you like the legit one with the certificate number on it and um i remember this because i helped a lot of teachers during that time period back in november where it was like this frenzy of getting all the paperwork together and someone in a group shed some light on this screenshot that crop it in you know make sure it's all nice and clear and it has a number on it and they will accept that uh it depends on your rankings my ranking is 600 i don't even know i don't even look at my rankings <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> what the ranking is none whatsoever i checked the last time i checked was oh man was it January, December, maybe January, December. And I was just like, because well, everything was like reset to like, and I was like, I wonder what, where am I at right now? I think it was maybe December. And I was like, what? I was so high. That was like the first time I checked in a long time. I need to look. Maybe my ranking is not 600. I don't know. Do you not get paid if you don't finish the assessments before a new month? Mm. Like as far as the classes today, you would still, you have 24 hours. So, you know, in China, right now it's already March 1st. So it's March 1st in China already. Um, so for them, it's a new month. But for you, you have 24 hours from the time you taught that class to get that assessment in for you to be guaranteed pay for that class. Regardless if it's, you know, the, the end of the month, you still have 24 hours to get that assessment in. ESL teachers, if your ranking is high, you get more, hmm, well, maybe, maybe it is decent because everything is, everything that I do is automatically approved. My assessments are automatically approved. My part-time is automatically approved. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'm okay. <laughs> okay, teacher Sam, I not understand. Thanks. You are welcome, Karen. Uh, let's see, where am I? I think I lost them. Where am I at? Where am I at? I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any questions. Higher ranking is special treatment, yet we not even getting 30. Da, da, da. You said we're not even getting 30. Let me see. I'm not sure. Uh, man, the teaching online game is hit or miss. Yeah, it really is. It really is. You're welcome, Wania. Tamika, I've seen some of Teacher Sam's videos when they used to be live during standby time, and they were fun and informative. Why did they take those live videos away? They helped me a lot in the beginning. <sighs> I don't know. Tamika, I think um, when they made some of those cuts that I, I'm not sure, but I think I was, I was not a live teacher. So maybe Teacher Sam could shed some light on that. If there was extra pay for that, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So they made some cuts in certain departments. And then the company, I think, was starting to go in a little bit of a different direction. Um, and so they took the, the live videos away. I don't know. Maybe it took more manpower 
to keep the lives going. And then there were complaints. There really were complaints that they needed to rotate teachers because people wanted to see new teachers. And, you know, you can't please everybody. There's some, some, some people complain. They didn't want to see the same people. Some people love seeing the same people because they got used to their teaching styles. You don't need to do assessments. You don't need to do assessments. I don't know if I missed something. Are you talking about with data? Hold on, baby. You don't step over, step over the court. There you go. Step over the court. Uh, see, sometimes it doesn't matter what our ranking is. Sometimes it's how hard you work. I have never missed a day or had one complaint. 365 days. Whoop, whoop. Yes. Good. Yeah, I, I've never had a complaint, but I have missed a day. I overslept one day. <laughs> I overslept one day. My son was giving me a hard time and I got a warning letter. I did. I got a warning letter. I was panicking because I've never, you know, it's never happened before, but I have gotten a warning letter for oversleep. I mean, I slept through the whole, <laughs> my body, I must have shut down because I slept through everything. That has nothing to do with rankings. What has nothing to do with rankings? You're talking about the assessments have nothing to do with rankings? I don't think the assessments have anything to do with rankings, if, that was your, if that's what you're talking about. Many teachers don't bother doing assessments and always get paid. Yeah, I, you know, I mentioned earlier that there are teachers that say, you know, they don't. Well, I don't know if they, I didn't know they don't do them, but I know some of them let them rack up for days on end. And then I've heard some teachers saying that they let them rack up and then they do them when they have extra time, like at the end of the week. For me, that would be horrible. I wouldn't want to go through that. But you're saying there's some people that never do them. I, I you know, I can't confirm or deny that, <laughs> but I don't advise it. I, I don't advise it because if we're going to say a big if, if they wanted to be picky and audit somebody's you know, audit your history or account and they see it, then that's giving them a right to not pay you according to the contract. So I wouldn't mess around with it, just me personally. But if you want to live on the wild side, do what you got to do. <laughs> oh, let's see, I'm getting my TESOL cert certificate with IOA. Is it better to have them mail me a hard copy? Um, you could. Have it mailed. The hard copy has the the certificate number on it, or you could, um, you know, do the screenshot. Like it's been brought to my attention that if you act like you're going to buy it, and they show you the preview of your certificate with the screenshot, and you screenshot that and just keep it for your records, then that's just as good. It doesn't have like any markings on it saying. You know how they have markings on it to show people that it's not an official picture you have to pay for. It. It's just a, a picture of your certificate and it has the numbers on it. So hopefully that helps you, Sarah. But if you would prefer to have it, you know, in your hands instead of just having a screenshot, electric copy, electronic copy, then um, the hard copy does have the the number on it that you need. It does have that on that. Uh, Sarah Live. No, you can get the cert number online for free. Okay. Yeah, what I meant was if parents are paying 50, yet we don't even make, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. We don't, you know, we don't make 30. So if they're paying 50, I guess, um, the customer service, the IT people, the higher up people. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Laura, that'll be better. Teach more last minute bookings. Yeah, are you referring to the um, the teach more if they were to do it? Yes, they need to change it, in my opinion, so that we can just do last minute, last minute. Be like, okay, I didn't want to sign up for part time hours. I'm available. Teach more. Da, 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 Tamika, you were talking about privileges due to ranking. Uh, well, I. Uh, you, I think you came in on the like the tail end of the conversation, but with the privileges due to ranking, I was just saying it's possible, you know, because some teachers say that the higher you are, then you get more trial classes. 
I don't get many trial classes. I get a lot of interest classes. Every time I have an opening, I get interest classes. And I think with the interest classes, you know, that's the, the student wanting to try my class. So I get snatched up with interest classes quick. Today, like last night, my schedule was full. Then I woke up and two of my regulars weren't there, but I had two interest classes that were automatically just put in that place. I was like, oh, I don't know where they went, but I have two interest classes in that spot. So um, that's what I was referring to. I don't know of any other privileges you get with ranking. Unless if you're unless if you're speaking with Teacher Sam, maybe you're talking to Teacher Sam and not me socially, Craig. It looked like you loved it. What was it like behind the scenes at Dada offices? Oh, OK. Behind the scenes. They are so relaxed. <laughs> they were so cool. They were kind of spread out. I will tell you this. When I went in China, you would think that there's like all these like big time offices and everything. No, they're like big open rooms, like call center space. And there's cubicles everywhere, just cubicles. And so I was walking through and they have different floors. So there were like four different floors that you can go on. <laughs> and then they, they took like the whole floor. So you would go around and there's like a door here, a door there. So it's easy to get lost as to what, I'm like, what door did I just come out of? Then there was like the main floor that was on like the seventh floor. And that was the main, you know, the main desk. And they had these different departments. Now, none of the departments are labeled when I was there. Now, you know, that was last summer, but none of the departments were labeled. So I was asking, so what's this department? And no one knew. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, okay, what's this department? Um, I think it's, I was like, okay. So no one really knew the names of the departments. Everyone just knew where they needed to be. And, but there was a training room. So the training room, there was a training room. There was a balcony that kind of overlooked the, the city. Then there was like a break room where they just really wasn't a break room, had a microwave and some snacks. You can get some free snacks. No, free snacks and some paid snacks. Open the microwave, open the microwave. Sorry, you guys, my three-year-old, he's learned how to push buttons on the microwave. And so, <laughs> and so, yeah, it was, but it was really relaxed. And then some of them will go and eat their lunch and it was like in this big building that had other companies inside the building. And downstairs was a Starbucks. There was even like a, a small grocery store, like a market. And they would go down to the market, get some fresh fruit or whatever, and then go back up to their room and eat and kind of like <laughs> take a nap at their desk. They would take a nap and they wake up and then start working again. <laughs> it's like, because, you know, where it was, it was in the business district. So there really, really wasn't anywhere to walk to. You know, there was nowhere to walk to unless you were walking to. There was a McDonald's and the Mac, the McDonald's wasn't that good. <laughs> it was not good. That was, that was the driest burger I've ever had in my whole entire life. So I did a video where I showed like me going to McDonald's. That was the driest burger in life. But I guess they wanted to, you know, be as appeasing with the American foods as they could. But the environment was completely laid back. Uh, Joyce is not with Dada anymore, but when she was there, she didn't have like this big fancy office, like off to the side. She was out there with everyone else and she had her own little, you know, cubicle yeah. space. And she was like, you can go to her for any questions you had. And so when I had questions about anything, I would just go and ask her, hold on, baby. I would just go and ask her. I'd be like, um, Joyce, can you help me? <laughs> And then she would just answer any questions. I never met Grace officially. I never met her. So also oh, that's what teacher services takes so long. They eat fruit and nap. <laughs> they took like shifts. So you would see like some of them were on and they had headsets just like this. They have a headset, you know, they have um, desktop computers and they're sitting there and then a question would come by. And if they needed help, you know, their cubicles. So they ask the person next to them, be like, um, you know, how they really would ask for help. And you might see two people looking and they're trying to figure it out and they would help each other that way. But it wasn't like a huge floor of people. Like it wasn't at the time when I went, they were hiring. 
they were hiring, but they said that it was difficult to find people because you're in China. Hold on. You're in China and you're trying to find people that can speak English for one people that are English speaking and somebody who actually wants the job. So I don't know what the pay was like, but you have to actually want the job and speak English. So it was hard to fulfill those requirements. And so that's why, you know, a lot of CS you get, you know, misunderstandings because some of them their, you know, their English is sufficient to a certain degree, but they really kind of don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> they don't really understand. I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. They don't really understand what you're saying and they're trying to translate back and forth. And a lot of things are lost in translation. So when I was there, I felt really bad because I was just like, oh, my goodness, I'm seeing firsthand how difficult it is. And they were trying to communicate with me. And then it was, you know, uh, most of them had very broken, broken English. And so I was able to pick words here and there, but I had to use my phone app. I had to use my phone app. Uh, I had Google Translate and another app that I used to help me get by. So I'd be like, I'm I'm so sorry. So they would speak into the app and then I could hear, you know, in English what they were saying. So, I mean, me being in China, I got to see firsthand how challenging it was. But they really, they're, they're so nice. They are so nice. Like they were just, they wanted to ask me, they wanted to take turns practicing their English with me. It was funny. It really was. Yeah. Most times there are, they are great. Now, you know, there's their the misunderstandings. <laughs> and then now I guess there's certain things that they don't help with anymore. I don't know. So they'll ask you to email. I think it's because, you know, some people are like, well, one person told me this and another person told me that. And so when that gets back to CS, then they get in trouble for that. So they probably just say, you know what? You guys are giving wrong answers. So email it to this department. We're going to have this department. So they've, they kind of shift responsibilities to see, you know, where is it more effective? So I don't I know I hate emailing because the emails aren't answered as fast. But for me, when I email, I, I haven't had to wait more than 72 hours. So uh, is Dada hiring? Is standby pay? Standby pay is still available. Yes. And Dada is hiring. I know. It's slow. It really is slow. I don't know if they still have quotas that they meet. There was a rumor of a hiring freeze. I don't know how true that is because during that whole time where people were talking about hiring freeze, I personally knew people that were getting hired. People were contacting me saying, I just got hired with Dada. Can you help me? I mean, it were, they were few and far between, but there were people that contacted me. And from what I've heard, they got more grant money, and so they're pumping more money into the company, and they're hiring. <laughs> it's still slow. It's still slow. Just last week, even on some of my videos, some people have commented saying they have an interview coming up. They have an interview, and they wanted you know some tips, or they watched the video about the interview. So they're hiring. They're interviewing. Can you do a video on the ABC demo, the, the Bling ABC demo, and how to pass it? Is that what you're referring to, Wagner? Sure, I can do one. Mm, socially correct. They have a new deal for new teachers now. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, Socially Craig. He said they have a new deal. This is touchy subject. What do you do about parents abusing the students in front of you? That has never happened to me. That has never happened to me. I never witnessed a student getting abused in front of me. This has been the hardest for me to see when I'm teaching. I've, I've never had to experience it. I, a lot of my students I've had since 2017, I've gotten maybe five new ones. I have 18, 18 regular students. Some I've had, there's maybe three that I've had since the beginning, actually. And then some of them I've had almost a year. I just acquired three new ones which I opened up extra slots for <laughs> on my free time because they asked me to open up more slots. But I've never had a student discipline in front of me. It's never happened. Um, what I would think I would do is, um, 
I guess, I mean, are they being disciplined because they're, the parents think they're not doing good? Maybe, you know, if the parents think they're not doing a good job, then I try to reassure, like, it's okay. It's okay. And I mean, I have had students like get loud when the student makes a mistake. They're just like yelling what the correct, correct pronunciation is. Sometimes what they say, what they're yelling to be correct is not correct. But I have had that. But as far as like verbal, I mean, physical abuse, I have not had that. Now, when they're, you know, with the verbal yelling, I take a break. We do a brain break. And I'm like, okay, you, you're doing good. It's okay. It's okay. And then we'll take a brain break. We'll do like a fun activity. They will come back to it. And then I praise them and I give them stickers just so they know, you know, they don't get discouraged. Physical abuse, I haven't witnessed it. So I would think that I would be like, you know, I'm not even going to give the excuse of a cultural thing. You, <laughs> I'm not even going to do that. But I would think that I would be more, you know, oh, it's okay. Or, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want you happy. Or, you know, try to get them engaged and maybe get them to interact with the parent. So sometimes, especially if the parent's right there, and then if you bring the parent into the process, and have them, okay, tell mommy, say, you know, how are you? How are you, mommy? And then either mom and dad will go away because <laughs> they don't want to be part of the process. So they'll go away so they can be left alone. Or they would be a little more patient because they're now part of it. And they're not sitting there watching their child and getting irritated or frustrated. You know, that's what I would think I would do. It hasn't happened to me yet. Uh, Wagner, do the company still book you? Yes, the company still books you. Yes, they still have part-time hours available. Uh, drunk husband's probably shirtless if I'm correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what I missed. I must have missed something. <laughs> I must have missed something with the, the drunk shirtless husband's. This was random parents and child hurting their children. Most times the parents are drunk. Ooh, I have never seen, see, I don't do a lot of trials. I've never seen that. I hardly get trials. I might get in a month. I might get maybe three or four in a month, maybe. My kids, I'm telling you, my kids, they come all the time. And when they don't come, I'm like, where, where were you? And then I get an interest class. But it was fun today. I had two 11-year-old boys. Two 11-year-old boys. And we had the curriculum, the courseware for today. It was, we had so much fun today. What's your funniest Dada story? Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, my goodness. I, I can't even think on my feet right now. There are so many. <laughs> so, so many. Um, I was laughing my head off today, trying to think what, what happened? Why was I laughing so hard? I don't even know. I, I, I don't, I don't even know. I have no idea. Oh, I would have, maybe it would probably be the spider. I am terrified of spiders. You guys, and you guys have probably seen spider stories in the group. I was sitting teaching. Ooh, I'm getting chills. Just thinking about it. I'm getting chills. I was teaching. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, it ran across my keyboard. I jumped up. I almost flipped out of my chair. I jumped up and I, I had my headset on. And I was like, Ooh. I mean, I was making like ugly, ugly faces. And the kid was at first, they were, <laughs> and I was like, spiders. And I think they thought I was playing at first until I started. I took my slipper off. I had a slipper and I was beating. <laughs> I was beating the keyboard. I was beating the keyboard down. The The webcam fell off of the keyboard. And yeah, because it, it, I have a, you know, a movable webcam. And I showed him, he wanted to see the dead spider afterwards. And I showed him the squish spider. So that would probably be my funniest moment. So there's a lot of different little silly things that have happened. There's so many. Uh, this was random. You know, the drunk parents. The only thing I've heard 
was arguing in the background. Yeah, I've heard a lot of, I've, I have heard arguing, arguing and crying in the background with, you know, another student and it's, they're just the one that I'm having class with is trying to focus. And I'm just like, what in the world is going on back there? Uh, I stand up for the students. Then I message teacher services. Yeah, see, I don't even know, like, standing up for the students, you know, I, I would probably be like, oh, it's okay. But yeah, I would definitely send a message. ESL teacher Sam, I would definitely send a message. Corporal punishment is very common from what I saw so many times, mostly in random trial classes. It is common. You know, I've heard a lot of it. And as a mentor, people have asked me about it. But Dada doesn't have a standard, like a policy, a go-to policy, but I've never had it happen. Um, I don't know what I would say in that moment, or, you know, I guess it would depend on what it is, like what's going on, you know, are, are they getting like beat down or is it just like, stop, you know, or, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, but definitely send a message. I do think that they do recommend sending messages. I do think I believe seeing that corporate punishment too much so, so she, <laughs> to make case. <laughs> Isn't Sashi a city in Russia? I don't know. I think you're uh, referring to a drink. Winter Olympics, I'm sure. Yes, teacher Lashandra, Chinese men like folding up their shirts to expose their bellies when they are drunk or it happened where I live. Um, <laughs> I have not seen that. Thank goodness. I have not. So, um, I'm not part of that club and I deny membership. So <laughs> can you do a video on the data ABC demo that is required to pass and get hired? Including student arguing in the living room gave me three hearts. What? They gave you three hearts. <laughs> what? Like you didn't step in. I don't know. That's maybe they were just having a bad day. The funniest thing I heard was my student Sally saying they ate at the dog food restaurant. The dog food <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> that is hilarious. I had a student tell me about, she was describing in detail how her dad eats, eats bugs. And so she was telling me about what it looked like and how he eats it and what, oh. The dog food restaurant. That's funny. My funniest, I had a problem child drawing Pac-Mans and hamburgers on the screen. It was not listening to me. But when I erased his drawing, she just seen the look on his face. <laughs> DG Dongguan. Or how do you say that? Yes, it is a drink pronounced Saki. Saki. Ooh. I think I've heard of it in movies. Like, you know, in foreign films, maybe. Waiting for Camly to respond. How long should I wait? Some people, uh, Eureka, Eureka, done. Some people have waited three to four weeks. Um, I myself waited almost a week. So I must have got it like at a sweet time, a sweet time to join. Some people have actually waited for quite some time. Um, but send a message. You know, one of the people on here said that they sent a message and they just got the response like, please wait. But it doesn't hurt to let them know, hey, I'm here. You can send them a message. Did the live die? Oh, your internet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Maybe I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Maybe Japanese sake? It, it, it's sake. I don't know. Well, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you did spell it wrong. I don't know. Sake. Maybe Japanese sake. That's it. Okay, that's it. Saki. I think she means Saki, the Japanese wine. Sake? Is that how you say it? Sake? I thought it was Saki. I really thought it was Saki. It's Sake. Tamika in China, they drink by, how do you say that? Baihu? Baiju? Baiju? I've been trying to learn Chinese, you guys. I have this app. Oh, you guys, we've been on here for an hour partying. I'm glad you guys are having fun, getting to know each other. This is fun, but I want to show you guys this app. Now I've been learning Chinese on my own with this app called Chinese Skill, and you guys see I'm I'm still in the beginning sessions, basic one, basic two, and it's really good. 
So if you know, you know, du Duolingo, they, I think they have Chinese on there too. This is similar to Duolingo. So they have like the little, it says it for you, you push it. And I've been do learning some Chinese and I found another app. If you wanted to, you know, like Cambly, how they can, you know, people that speak different languages can talk to a native English speaker. I found an app called Preply. So yeah, where is it at? Hold on, where, where do we go? Where's, okay, <laughs> Preply. So it's kind of blurry, but there it is right here. And that's what it looks like. And you actually can find tutors to teach you whatever language. So I wanna learn Spanish. So they have one for, for Spanish on here. So if you guys want to do something like Cambly where you're the student and you talk to somebody and kind of you know get fluent that way, these tutors set their own rates. And I saw some people that only charge $10 an hour, $10 an hour. And you do it on your, you can do it on your phone, on your app. So I'm excited to try it. So I haven't tried it yet. You get a trial period. I heard tutors can wait up to six months to Cambly. Woo! I hope it's not six months. You can teach English on Preply. Maybe you could, because I know there's tutors on here, socially, Craig, that they set their own rate. I was, you know, I was looking for somebody that spoke Spanish. So I filtered out only, you know, so I can only see Spanish speaking people so that I can practice Spanish. And I still get my trial class. I haven't tried it yet because I'm nervous. <laughs> I know how the students feel on Cambly when they call in for the first time. I'm really nervous because my Spanish is not good. It's not good at all. I, I talk like a toddler when I speak Spanish. So, hey, are we talking about data? We're talking about everything, Blurb. Data and other companies and talking with each other because we... Because we talked about the fact that they reduce contract hours. Because have we? No, we haven't talked about that yet. But yeah, some people are getting a reduction in contract hours, I guess, based off of low bookings. I don't know how that goes since they do book for us. So what they do, you have to make your profile. Make it as appealing as possible. They love family. They love achievement. They love dreams and aspirations. So in my profile, I made sure, blurb, you said they have new deal, only offer 1.5 hours, Monday through Friday. Oh, for new teachers? They only offer an hour and a half, Monday through Friday for new teachers? Is that what you're saying socially, Craig? If you change your schedule, they no longer allow three hour contract hours anymore. Oh, no reduction, I mean, okay. The stream was buffering. Did you say yes, you will do the Bling ABC demo? I mean, the Dada ABC demo that is required to pass and get hired? I did. I've I've already done a video with the demo, Wagner. It's on my, uh, if you look in my videos, you know, look on my channel, look in my videos. I will put the link here in the group after the chat. I don't know if I can do it while I'm on here. I don't want to like, exit the live but i don't know if i can do it while i'm on here if i open another window i've never done that while i'm on a live so i don't know if i open another window will it cancel out this session or not so i will put the link to my video that i've done with the hiring process you know the demo process in the comments after this chandra i'll send you the new deal email yes i appreciate that because since they got rid of the mentors i'm in the dark I know, you know, just as much as anybody else knows. I mean, some of you guys know more now. So <laughs> I didn't know anything about the new deal. I had no idea. So, because I just opened up my camera. Come on, camera. I just opened up um, some extra slots because I had, I've done a trial. The one time I did a trial, they wanted me to be their teacher. And so I had no slots available. So they asked me if I would add, because I used to only work two hours on Saturdays and Sundays and Mondays, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, I only work two hours. So they asked me if I would add another 30 minutes for each of those days. So they wanted me three days a week. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I didn't know that they were reducing, that they reduced the offer. 
Thanks, Teacher LaShawn. Always fun with you. Have a great day. All right, Tamika, let me know. Um, email me when you get your bear. You should get it. I sent it priority. No, it's pri whatever first class, you know, regular mail. The three day, the three day mail. <laughs> and so you should get it this week, today, tomorrow. You should. Mm, I tried to change my contract hours because of DST, but they won't allow me to get the same number of contract hours. They're only allowing 1.5 per day. Ah, I didn't know that. I don't know of any additional news. So when they, you know, I ask CS questions on a regular basis and I get the same answers you guys get. So I don't have mentor favor anymore. <laughs> and all the people that I used to know at, you know, in the office, like the people that I met when I went to China, they're not with the company anymore. So I don't know, you know, keeping it real. I don't have any contacts anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know anything. I got $14 an hour, no standby pay. Regular slots that you have to commit commit to for 60 days. Other slots, seven days. Looks like they are changing the system. You got, oh, so you just signed a new contract, William? Oh, well, maybe, I, I, maybe the new contracts don't have standby. Huh. I need to get with some of you new teachers. Let me know. And I'll, you know, I'll put the word out there that, hey, they're not doing, maybe the old contracts have been grandfathered. Maybe that's what it is. Cause I still get standby pay. And I even asked, cause someone had mentioned it in the group and I asked CS, I asked them specifically about the standby pay being, you know, obsolete. And um, I'm not going to put a particular uh, member, CS member on blast, but he said, he was like, I don't know anything about that. I haven't heard of that. And I was like, can you check? And so he checked and came back. He was like, no teacher. So everything is still, but maybe it's new contracts. You guys let me know. Let me know what's going on. So William, you said you're new. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe all of us before the change, maybe our contracts were grandfathered, but there was no announcement made. They didn't make an announcement, but this is very interesting. So this live will be available. So anyone that's curious can jump on here and see. Yes, insider info is much harder to find now. It is. It is socially, Craig, but you must have some connections because um, I didn't know some of this stuff. I was mentoring teachers on my own and I love helping new teachers. Yes, yes. That's good. I'm I'm not even a mentor with Dada anymore and I still help, you know, and I have a, a Facebook page and I help on there too. It must be hard to watch the company be so generous with teachers. Remember the nice bonuses? Oh my goodness, they're stingy now. I do remember the nice bonuses. I don't know what happened. I I think, you know, really there's nothing but speculation, but Maybe they stretch themselves too thin because, you know, they got the, you know, VIP kid has their hands in a lot of different pots. They have the lingo bus that's through VIP kid. And, you know, so they got they have something for the American kids wanting to learn English. I mean, wanting to learn Chinese. So lingo bus and they have other things and they have say ABC. And I think Dada was trying to expand, you know, with the Dada TV and Dada Baby. They were trying to expand and broaden their horizons. And I think they may have done it too quickly for them to be so new. Maybe. I don't know. And then maybe the money they put in other things, it was just spread too thin. And then, you know, we mentioned earlier, Dada is expensive. It's one of the most expensive companies for the parents, you know. So I'm thinking that maybe they bit off a little bit more than what they can choose. So now they're trying to fix it. <laughs> they're trying to fix it. And so, yeah, that's that's speculation. That's speculation, though, you guys. I don't like to gossip. So I would tell you what my stance is, but I'm not going to, you know, stamp that as fact. I'm not sure. Standby is totally gone from the New Deal. In writing, anyways. What? I really want to work for Cambly. 
Yeah, Eureka, I hope you can get on. It's fun. I did I did it today. I did my three hours with Dada. And then I was on Palfish for like 45 minutes. I did a, a tutoring call, did a live video, you know, that was fun. And then jumped on Cambly and I was on Cambly for three hours. I love it. So I went from adults to audio video to I mean from children, audio video, and then to adults. <laughs> A bonus is that you get 30% bonus for regulars. Mm -mm -mm. The new deal apart from no standby seems better on paper. Oh, does it? Unless they offer you a crap base rate. Mm. Both VIP kid and iTutor group are massive. Yeah, see, iTutor group, um, I was actually hired by iTutor group like a couple of weeks ago. Because I was like, okay, because someone told me it was kind of like Cambly, you know, as far as like 24 hour. I was like, okay. Yeah, I could do that. Like in my, I only wanted to teach the adults, not the kids. So it wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't be a big deal. But then I got hired and then they asked me to put in my availability and I had to commit to 10 hours. My camera. I had to commit to 10 hours, which I don't have. And it had to be during peak times, which is the same time as Dada. So then I didn't go any for any any further but they've been around since 1994 i was what they've been around like that long they've been around for a long time bling abc has been around since i think the 90s they started off like really small they've been been around since the 90s which is why i was taking a chance with bling but i don't know the terms and this long waiting period i'm still waiting so I don't have much to tell you guys for bling. Yeah, you're right. I saw an interview with some people who are high up in say ABC and say ABC said they extended themselves too much in the summer by hiring too many teachers. Yeah. I mean, it's gotten so popular now. And then, you know, there were other companies, I'm not going to drop names, but a lot of companies at the same time, Dada, you know, when they had that strict period and a lot of teachers, unfortunately their contracts weren't renewed and you know, teachers were, uh, I guess, I don't want to say discontinued, but they told them, okay, well, your contract is ending such and such a day due to low bookings. During that same time, there were, for a fact, I know, three other companies that were doing the same thing, three other ones. So I don't know. I To this day, I say it was the economy, <laughs> the economy and just the massive explosion of this being popular now. ESL teacher, Sam, how many hours can you work with .abc? The gift cards from points were super sweet. I think, oh yes. You cashed in 500? What? Wow. I was able to cash in mine once because when they released it, there was only one time where I was like, oh, and I was, it was available. Then it was like gone within the hour. <laughs> I, and then I was never able to cash them in again. They just kept accumulating and I've been waiting. So I'm hoping they bring them back. Please, please. Because I have some money waiting to be spent on Amazon. I work 75 hours a month with part. What? Wait a minute. A month. Okay. A month with part-time hours. How many do I work a week? 15. No, I don't work 75. <laughs> I'm like 15 times four, roughly four weeks in a month. I don't work 75. I work 15 hours a week with Dada. Uh, iTutor group sucks. You pay based off the students rate you and they only pay half for 45 minutes. Yeah, see, when I was reading about the iTutor group, I was like, why are the 45 minute classes, why is the pay lower than a 25 minute or whatever, 25, 30 minute class. Why is it lower? And then they're saying, I guess per each person, that was confusing to me. That was confusing, but I don't know. Some people tell me, oh, you can make money if you get good ratings. And I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but I didn't go forward. So <laughs> because I was, I, I thought it was like Cambly, but it's not, I don't want to make a commitment. Wow. I hope that never happens to me. Sam, how many contract hours do you do? On average, I work four hours a day, give or take. You do? Four? I only do three. 
with Dada. I only do three. You must, I don't know. Maybe you get those wee morning hours. I only do three. I do the the um, six to nine BJT. That's it. And then on Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, I only work two and a half hours on Saturday and Sunday and Monday, two and a half. It was just two, but now it's two and a half because I took that extra student. Mm -mm -mm. But I didn't know you can work four hours a day. What? You are awesome. You go, girl. Um, blurb. I'm in um, Central Standard. So GMT minus five. Cent um, CST, Central Standard. Right now, my time is almost 2.30. It's 2.28 p.m. Socially Craig, 75. Yeah, I'm like, 75? Well, she says she works four hours a day. So I have seen lately, like, they have this, like, 3 a.m. slot available. And I'm like, no, that's too early. For me, it would be 3 a.m. I'm not getting up at 3 a.m. I start teaching at 4 a.m. my time from 4 a.m. until 7.10 my time or 6.12 on my two-hour days. Well, 6.40 now since I took that extra class. 640 on my two and a half hour days. But um yeah, I didn't know that they you know normally gave out four hours a day. That is pretty cool. I need to check it out. I hardly ever do part-time. I know during you know Chinese New Year during that time, they had a lot of hours available. Like it was like lit up like Christmas lights. So did they continue that? I need to take a look. Well, I would have been surprised if you answered. <laughs> <laughs> I would never tell you how much I make. <laughs> yes, I won't be answering that one either. You earn a bonus per student rating. I do very little 45 minute classes, but my average for February was over $20 per class. Is is that good? I don't know. I think someone told me that you make up to 22, 22 per class. Mm, 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 mm. This month, February, it is. Yeah, it's still February for me. Tomorrow, yeah, it's still it's two thirty p.m. February twenty eighth for me. It was limited and grabbed up as much as I could. Said not with Dada, obviously. I don't know. I know ESL teacher Sam is with Dada. I think she's talking about those Dada hours. You go, girl. She said it was limited. Yeah, I know. Sometimes they have those. We, for me, we, we, <laughs> early in the morning hours, Woo. too early for me. I need sleep. I, w I go to sleep late. So I already only average like four hours of sleep a night So by my own choice. You work seven days a week. Yeah, I work six. I was doing seven, but I have a three-year-old. I decided to not do seven. So I. I need sanity, but you go seven days a week. My max for 45 minutes classes is 41. Wow. You can get 41. That's almost, it's not quite a dollar an hour. How much would that be per hour? That's pretty good. That's a, that's a good rate per hour. I mean, per hour, per minute. Goodness gracious. I've been on this live too long. Seven days a week, girl, you are strong. What time zone are you in? Nat Native started registering students from South Korea, Japan, Brazil. I think they will start interviewing teachers to get next month. You know, Wagner, I had applied at Native too. I was applying everywhere, trying to see, you know, what's out there. I did this in December. You know, I st I've always been with Dada, but I was thinking, well, you know, maybe if I can find something to supplement since they didn't need the mentors anymore because with the mentors, in addition to my teaching hours, I was doing extra hours, you know, extra hours per week that I was contracted for to mentor. So my camera is not liking me today. And so when they didn't need the mentors anymore and I had gotten accustomed to working those extra hours and I was like, okay, what am I going to fill my time with? I've already had this set schedule of working. So I was looking for other companies and Native put me on this waiting list. So I haven't heard anything. The last thing I heard was back in January when they were just saying, come view this live event. 
celebrate our launching or whatever. And I, I didn't see the live event. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to see a live event. Am I getting paid for the live event? I didn't get <laughs> Native is a lie. Don't waste time with them. Oh, see, I don't know anything about it other than people. People were just saying, you get paid every day. I was like, every day? Every day, huh? How does that work? Yep, 4 a.m. to 7.44 a.m., almost four hours a day. With Okay, yeah, that that's for me, that would be that that um, 3 a.m. slot, you know, probably. Because I do 4 to 7.10, so 4 to 7.10, 4 a.m. to 7.10 Central Time. And you are, I think, an hour ahead? No, that was somebody else that was an hour ahead of me. Wow, that's impressive. And complain about my 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Blurb, 6 a.m. We could trade. I have to get up at 3.30 to get ready for my 4 a.m. class. Not just every day, after every class. If you have six students in a 45 minute that rate you, you'll earn max. Hmm. If I don't have PT hours, I work 4 a.m. to 7.10 on average. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's that's my schedule. You must be central, except for my two day, my three days where I don't, where I just don't work that. And then Sunday, you know, I don't want to cut it close because right after I'm done teaching, I have like an hour to freshen up, and then I'm on my way to church, and so I just don't want to cut it close. I didn't know you can work more than three hours on data, but apparently native would only open, only be open to North Americans. Yeah, they did say that North Americans. Okay, native, we believe you. <laughs> Okay, Nadia, we believe you. <laughs> Never put your eggs in one company. At 51, they fired teachers with no notice. Yes, that was one of the companies that I told you that was doing, you know, some company cleansing, whatever you want to call it. But I wasn't going to be the one to say it. You said it, William, not me. <laughs> but yes, I, yes, that was one of them. Dada ABC hours are available if you can grab them up before some. Yeah, yeah you got to be on it, on it. Like, know when they refresh it. And I used to, like, a long time ago, but I haven't in a long time. Dada ABC hours are available. Okay. Some teachers started teaching students at Native. They hired 1,400 teachers. They still got over waiting. Oof. Your teacher number 3,382. Woo! They have no students. They are run by mm, a scam, Mr. Man. What? I don't know any of this. You should try PK Fish. PK Fish. Magic Ears or AL07. You guys, I got hired by Magic Ears too. <laughs> I got hired by a bunch of companies, but then I was like, okay, now I'm hired. Now what? And then I was just like, mm, never mind. So I got hired. Now, AL07, I don't know about them. PK Fish, I don't know about them. I have no idea what PK Fish is. Magic Ears, they have a requirement, like a 10 hour requirement. I don't have 10 hours. What? Because I'm not getting rid of, I'm not replacing Dada. Dada is my, my first love. And then everything else is just for fun supplements. What do you think of VIP Kid? For me, um, well, I used to be with VIP Kid first a long time ago in 2017. And I'll say this. When I was with VIP Kid, it was wonderful. You know how teachers say, well, I haven't had a booking in like three, six months. And I just, I didn't have that problem. I can honestly say that. I didn't have that problem. I sat idle for, I did sit idle with like one booking in like 45 days. And then after I got my one booking, I was like nervous, like nurse sighted. I was like, <laughs> and then off of that one booking, then the next week I had like three. And then I had, then it just blew up. So after 45 days, my schedule started filling up and blew up. And then it got to the point where I was always full. I was always full. But then I got hired in January of 2017. And then June of 2017, they decided not to renew my contract. And I don't like bashing companies. 
you know, and I'm not bashing VIP kid, but at the time they were completely unreasonable because uh, I was actually pregnant and I ended up losing my daughter and I was hospitalized for quite some time and they didn't care. And so they didn't renew my contract. So no more VIP kid. <laughs> they did offer to hire me back. I got an email like this happened in June and then in January, because I sent an appeal and everything. January, February, they wanted to reconsider and I passed. I was with Dada by then because they let me go in June and I joined Dada in August. So I was with Dada by then. So and I just passed when they when they said they'll reconsider my appeal. But when I was with VIP Kid, it was it was cool for me. It was cool. But for me, it just that's just like some bad memories there. So no to VIP kid for me. <laughs> it's like torture to get up at 3 a.m. Keep motivating for my regular. Oh, so you get up an hour early? Girl, I get up like 20, 30 minutes early, sometimes 10 if I want to live on the wild side. I'm putting in my packet instant coffee because I didn't have time to brew coffee. So <laughs> did you join the official pal fish course? Um, no, not the teaching. But I joined the platform so that I can do live videos and do tutoring because you could do audio or video tutoring if you want with just the tutoring. But I don't do the, the teaching with the, the classes. I don't do classes in the children socially, Craig, if that's what you mean by the official palfish. No, I did not join. I don't. I, for me, their, their teacher pay is kind of low for the teachers. And so I, I didn't want to teach. I just wanted something to fill in my time where I can make some extra money on the side. Mm, there's a bunch of teachers creating post-traumatic syndrome horror series. What? Magic ears. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. William, you, you said post-traumatic syndrome horror series. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm sorry. You just caught me off guard with that. <laughs> It's not all high pay rainbows and unicorns. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen some of the videos. I've seen them, but <laughs> I guess that's just their story. Some of them love, you know, have great stories with magic ears. Some of them will tell you their nightmare story. Same with Dada. Some people have wonderful stories. My story has been a wonderful one, minus them getting rid of the mentors. But but it's it's been a it's been wonderful, you know. I can't stress enough, you guys. They sent me to China, okay? <laughs> Does seem to be, oh, boo-hoo. I'm not earning as much anymore, though. Yeah. Sorry, I meant the kids' course. Yeah, yeah, I'm not on the kids' course, socially, Craig. Nope. I did training at Magic Ears. I don't care for teaching four students at the same time. Woo. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm like, that's how bling is. You're just like, and I'm, <laughs> that's why I said, okay, I'll do bling, like, two days two days out the week, but then I don't even think I'm going to go forward. I'm just like, you know what? Maybe I'll just fill in my time with part-time hours or more Cambly hours. My plate's pretty full. My husband, he gets on me because he says I spend too much time filling in my time. So he says I should enjoy my free time more. I and see. Yeah, me too. I can't do four students. I have a hard time with my twins on Dada. Ooh, I've, I've never had twins. I never had twin classes. Palfish can be good as long as you absolutely smash the hours. If you teach like 100 hours plus a month. Ooh, you probably could make it. See, I don't even have the 10 hours. The, the 10 hours minimum during the peak times. I just don't have that. It'll it'll like mess up my Dada schedule. So I just, I don't have it to give it. But I know some people, like um, there's some YouTubers one in particular that won Palfish had a contest that was going on during Chinese New Year. A YouTuber named Camden. Camden, he's really he's a nice guy. I love him. He's a Christian and you know, I love him. He he talks about his journey and living in China and you know Thailand, wherever he's at now, I don't know. But I guess he's moving back. Sorry you guys. I guess he's moving back to the United States. So he talks about his journey a lot. And he won the the contest, the some video contest. And he makes good money. So he says he makes over two thousand dollars a month teaching on Palfish. I just don't have the time to it would actually take away from Dada 
for me to do it. So I just do the tutoring. But that's awesome, socially, Craig. Did anyone else notice how these magic ears teachers come from Go Go Kids? Really? <laughs> I know some of them are like Go Go Kids, Magic Ears, VIP Kid. So I don't know. I, I don't know. A lot of them come from, a lot of them are with, like, no, the Go Go Kid teachers, I think a lot of them are with VIP Kid and Go Go Kids to fill in, you know, when one slot doesn't get full, then they go to the other one, like bounce back and forth type of thing. Because those platforms, on go go kid and vip kid the parents book on um, magic years i don't know i don't know who books i don't know if it's the parents or the company that books probably the company because you got to get a group of kids together right so it would make sense for the company to book but go go kid and vip kid i know the parents have to choose you wells english lets you teach different subjects besides english you can teach literature writing science oh that is awesome. I'm going to look into that. How many regular students do you have? I have, let's see, just today I noticed two of my students are gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. So I think that puts me at 15 now. 16. No, no. I'm at um, 17 because I gained one. I, I lost two, gained one. And some of them chose to do another day because they saw an opening. So instead of me teaching them twice a week, oh my gosh, my dogs scared me. The mailman, the mailman. <laughs> and so, is it the mailman? Oh, okay. It's probably time for me to get off of this thing. Camden easily makes, yeah, he does. I guess he's been doing it for a long time, socially correct. I think he's been doing it since 2016 on Palfish. He's been on Palfish for a long time. 2016, maybe he's been on Palfish since 2017. So he has an awesome reputation. So, yeah. We probably talked about this before, but what are the most desired company to work for? Is it Cambly? I heard you talking about them before. Cambly does not pay <laughs> very well if you're trying to get rich. I use Cambly as a filler. You get paid every week with Cambly. So Cambly is 17 cents per minute. That's it. 17 cents per minute. <laughs> the only bonus you get is if you have a referral that gets hired and they teach more than 10 priority hour hours. That's it. No bonuses. 17 cents per minute. Flat. <laughs> so, so, um, so in an hour, that's ten dollars and twenty cents, an hour. So if you're just looking for, you just want to wake up and be like, you know what, I have some extra time today. You can jump on Cambly. Like I can get off of this right now and jump on Cambly if I wanted to, and just take some calls. And I can stay on as long as I want to, and then get off whenever I feel like it. That's what I like Cambly for. Now, if you want something like that and the pay isn't that big of a deal, then Cambly would be for you. Cambly is my filler. And it also gives me a break from children and I get to work with adults. Um, mm, I guess it, it, there's so many options out there. Dada is slow to hire. Very slow. You're going to be waiting a long time to get hired <laughs> with, with Dada. Probably, you know, quite some time, weeks before you get an interview. Uh, Go Go Kids. I was told that Go Go Kids is like they're not hiring at the moment. They're completely full right now some people say they're hiring but then people are saying i can't book an interview i passed i did my application process can't book an interview because they're full um magic ears i think is looking for teachers but they pay up to 22 dollars an hour up to 22 dollars an hour and you're teaching more than one student so if you don't mind juggling different kids uh some people say that iTutor group is great if you are, you know, ready to crank out the classes. If you're, if you're ready to crank them out, iTutor group is great. Um, and you get bonuses with iTutor group. There's just so many. I did a video with different companies and downs. I'll post that in the comments as well when I get off of here. There's, there's just so, so many. And if you look through the comments on here. 
uh, socially, Craig has cha- shared some information on Wales English. It just depends on what your preference, you know, children, adults. It's taking serious that he teaches more than eight to 10 classes per day. Yeah. And see, each class on Powfish is 25 minutes. So if he's teaching eight classes a day, that's four hours, 10 classes, that's five hours. So four to five hours a day, Karen. Mm, so she could, I bet he'd be closer to 4K per month. Maybe. Because I I saw a video where he was saying that he does, like, I think there were times he did, like, eight, ten hours in a day. He said he took a break when he got food, came back and started teaching again. He, but, you know, he doesn't have children. He's not married. Or is he married? He's married. He is married. He's married. <laughs> but he doesn't have children. So he doesn't have children. So, I mean... If she, especially if she's working, then he probably works when she works. I don't know. Whatever the arrangement is, he cranks those hours out. 5-1 talk is crappy. UUABC, next one to go through some madness. Mm, yeah, I mean, I, you know, there's. I don't think there's a perfect, 100% perfect company out there. You just got to pick and choose your pros and cons. What are you willing to deal with and what are you absolutely not going to deal with? Really, when it all boils down to it, blurb. All right, bye, blurb. Thanks for joining. You guys, <laughs> this was meant to be like a 15, 20 minute. This was really informative. You guys are awesome. No, just media higher paid ones. They still have the group class program, which is going strong. All right. Well, you guys are awesome. We're going to go ahead and end this live. There's a lot of informative information here. So this will stay. Anybody can come back and scroll through the, you know, the live feed to see, you know, go back and see whatever you think you missed. And I'm going to try to do lives once a week. My family's crazy. Today happens to be a snow day. The weather's bad here. It's an ice storm. School was canceled. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to see my, my YouTube family. So thanks for joining me, you guys. And if you haven't subscribed already, then, you know, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys have teacher channels, I would love to subscribe back. Let me know. Leave a comment. Leave questions. We'll answer questions for you. Bye, you guys. Now I'm going to be a dork again and figure out how to end this. Ah, here we go. End stream. TTF. In. <laughs> <laughs>